How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and we're here with another Wi-Fi battle video from the International Challenge of April Masters Division. If you have not seen my first Wi-Fi battle from this kind of series of videos I'm going to make here with the International Challenge of April, definitely hit that up. You'll probably see more action in this video, but... Why would I say that? Because we have a match here where my level 36 Togekiss, that's right, a level 36 Togekiss is going to be boss this battle. We start off the battle by facing a Dragonite, which might have multi-scale, in which case we broke it from my rock slide, and a Blastoise, which I'm not sure why it's not going Mega. He might have a different Mega this time around, but... It's a good thing I'm not seeing it right now. We do flinch the Blastoise, and that's, I guess, fine, because if she had Ice Beam, then I would probably be gone right now with my Alexis. But Alexis is still here. I try to hit the Blastoise again, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. We miss it, of course. And the Dragonite was not a big deal in this battle. I'm a little bit surprised to see that. Now, unfortunately, I get hit by a, by a Surf, which will hit multiple Pokemon in VGC style, or double battles either. And my Togekiss actually cooked that really well, and it's at level 36! What up? So, that's awesome to see. Here comes Garchomp, and I'm not sure what to expect from it. He goes for an Outrage right here, and I think my opponent forgot that Togekiss gets the Fairy typing in 6th gen. The Blastoise is not having a fun time in this battle just because it keeps getting paralyzed and just getting flinched to death. And we just take out Blastoise afterwards, so that's the end of Blastoise. I was really happy to see that hacks come in my favor in this battle, because had the hacks not been there, then I guess my Togekiss wouldn't have this much fame. So we actually take out the Garchomp here with a Dazzling Gleam, and that just leaves with my opponent with one more Pokemon, and that is actually his Mega Charizard Y. We get the information on that, so all we have to do is if we're faster, in which case that would be my Karakion, then we can win this battle, and if we don't miss the rock slide too. But we actually hit it, and we were going to win the battle. Had I missed it, I guess my Togekiss would be gone, and my Krakion would probably be gone too, but... And guess what? We didn't even get a chance to use my Aegis Slash or my Mega Alakazam in this battle. But don't worry, those guys are going to come back for the next and final match from the April ICL. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye now.